Hey everyone, Dad Jokes Pwn here, back for another video. And today you can see that we're parked here by the Limit Breaker. And uh, that's because we're going to be pulling Ceramic, uh, our latest Limit Broken fighter, out uh, with solid gold. And let's go ahead and head on over as usual. You guys know the first step here. We got to head over to Destiny Island and bump up those talents. So find that. All right, so we're starting out here with 16 E damage at level 333. So let's see how far we can get uh, with going ahead and filling out these talents really quickly here. Uh, of course, I'd already pre-loaded them for uh, before the limit break. Uh, pop in those 80 fruit and see where we get. Okay. So we are now at 23 E. Uh, so we, we literally just gained 10 E damage by going ahead and doing that. Let's go ahead and head on over to the time chamber and see what we can do in terms of rolling up a new passive uh, on this unit. So again, starting out at 23, let's go ahead and pop that roll. Uh, I am gonna use a token here. I uh, don't want to use 15 shards. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Well, I wasn't really anticipating that, guys. Um, that's, a, that's a lucky three unit, and I don't already have a full team of lucky three units, so I, I obviously can't roll that off. Um, Wow, that's crazy. Uh, what, what a conundrum to, to run into. First roll, we, we roll a, a mythical passive, but it doesn't exactly mesh with, uh, with my plans here. Um, and just to check really quickly, I don't remember what the odds are for that one. 0.25% chance, guys. Uh, and we did it in, in literally one roll. Oh, that's crazy. Um, well, I guess now we have the, the question of what to do. I'm not going to roll that off. Um, it, it's that simple. Um, I, I feel like it's too strong. I, I do, however, have a number of other ceramic or, or glass um, secrets. So I could go ahead and hang on to this limit broken one. Um, and then just go ahead and create a whole new, uh, yeah, that, that probably makes the most sense. Let, let's, we have time. Um, let's go ahead and do, do a, a few rolls and see if I can, see if I can get anything really good here. Um, so we're starting at 272. Uh, actually, no, uh, I can afford to use shards on this, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and do shards. Um, see if we can roll up something good. Well, that blessing would, would have been amazing. Um, but as usual, I'll go ahead and bring you guys back uh, when I get something worth keeping here. You know what, that's actually kind of interesting. Um, I could use this to go ahead and, and replace one of my weaker lucky two uh, units. So I think I'll do that. It'd be kind of silly not to. So um, that kind of works out. I'll uh, I'll go ahead and keep rolling on, on this other one since I still have shards left, and uh, and we'll see where we end up. So at this point. I don't really want to continue using shards just because I want to hang on to these for making the shiny crafted. So I'll just go ahead and use tokens uh, from this point and see if we can't get lucky with something. Okay. 
That feels like a pretty reasonable start, actually. Um, and I've already run through quite a few shards and uh, a handful of, of reroll tokens. I, I think Tank will will do for for right now. Um, it uh, I gotta say it kind of presents the question of should I do the tank or should I go ahead and do this already shiny uh, ceramic with tactical three. Uh, I'm I'm kind of back and forth on the idea so so here, here's what i propose uh to you guys um why don't you sound off down in the comments uh, below and let me know what you guys think should i go ahead and proceed with the tank ceramic uh, or should i go ahead and proceed with the tech three ceramic that's already shiny obviously that the downside of the uh unit that's already shiny being that it's going to be a little slower to level um, but, um, it's not really the, the end of the world. Uh, meanwhile, let's go ahead and head over and do our, our look through the, I mean, that, that's a cool looking unit. Um, sorry, a little sidetrack there, but, uh, this definitely wasn't what I, what I was going for today. I was, I was hoping to, to make a real banger, uh, out of, out of this, uh, ceramic, uh, limit broken unit. Uh, damage wise, but this will for forever be a useful uh, unit for me in uh, in my lucky team uh, as well as a, a really solid solid gold unit um, for, for my yen farming. So at, at the end of the day uh, I gotta say it's really really not that big a problem. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and in uh, true form let's go ahead and showcase this unit um, Obviously, it's still going to have gotten considerable power gains uh, from the extra talents. Uh, well, we we're maybe just barely able to, to get to the ultimate on, on that. Let's go ahead and turn on the effects and, uh, and maybe try that one more time here. Certainly hitting pretty hard. Uh, yeah, so, so she did get the ultimate attack off but it was a little hard to gauge exactly how much impact there was there because uh, the unit died with it so uh, let's go ahead and take a look here all right so pretty pretty good damage um, uh, this units cranking out really solid ultimate damage um, 172e per swing, 345e uh, per crit swing, and uh, pretty surprising um, DPC uh, as well, just just by itself. So that, that's kind of silly. Um, and uh, I can go ahead and replace. Uh, but you can see here, I had basically the same thing happen. Uh, I had. A, a leader three unit that I, I was uh, planning on making and ended up with with lucky three on it too of all things um, so that that's twice now that, that I've limit broken a unit um, with a, a particular purpose in mind and ended up rolling a, a lucky three uh, as the secondary but kind of kind of threw a, a wrench in in my plans um, but you know what? That's what happens on, on this unit here. Is, is the the leader three unit that I was I was trying to make. Um, I, I really like the the chainsaw demon um, fighter, and, and just want to go ahead and play with that. But uh, on the bright side here, uh, I do now have two uh, pretty pretty dang solid additions to to my lucky team as well. I also have the benefit of being able to replace um, these two Esper kings. Uh, with uh, with better lucky units, so uh, able to boost my damage a little bit uh, when, when I'm pulling. Uh, that just means that I get to farm more yen uh, as well in the process. So um, at the end of the day, not exactly a, a, a bad day. Um, go ahead and save this. All right, just do this really quickly because I don't want to mess around and forget it. 
and that takes care of that. So back to what I was asking earlier, uh, I, I would certainly love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, vote uh, with your comment down below. Should I go tank or should I go tack three? Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, limit break. Uh, well, first I'll level obviously, and then uh, limit break uh, whichever unit gets the the most uh, votes. Uh, I, I guess we'll say the, the most comments. Um, I, I'm leading uh, toward ceramic with tactical three, even though it will be slower to, to level up. Um, obviously because it's already shiny. Um, that, that'll be a bit of a pain, but uh, overall I think it'll be more damage potential, so uh, You guys let me know and as always, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it If you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button uh, It does help me out immensely in building a YouTube channel here uh, Hit that like button and as always, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care everyone